This tutorial will demonstrate how to limit web browsing on student computers being managed by LandSchool. Not only does this help teachers keep students on task, but it can also be a creative way for teachers to give assignments where students may reference only a few specific websites. Web limiting can be applied to one or more student computers by simply selecting the thumbnails from the console and clicking the Limit Web button in the toolbar. If no thumbnails are selected, web limiting will be applied to all student computers. When web limiting is enabled, you will see the Limit Web icon displayed over top of the student thumbnail. There are three different types of web limiting offered by LandSchool. The teacher can choose to simply block all websites, allow only a specific list of websites, or block only a specific list of websites. Only one of these three types of limiting can be applied at one time. To define the list of specific websites that can or cannot be accessed, select the drop-down arrow to the right of the Limit Web button, and select Configure Web Limiting. If you want to limit access to all websites except for a few, enter the website addresses you want to allow into the Allowed Website section. If you only type the domain name of the website, like wikipedia.org, any website address with that domain will be accessible. If you define a more specific address like wikipedia.org forward slash wiki forward slash landschool, then only that specific page will be accessible. When web limiting is enabled and a student tries to access a website not on the allowed list, their internet browser will redirect them to a page explaining that the site has been blocked. LandSchool will also list all of the websites that the student is allowed to go to. Students can click on those links right from this page. If you want to allow access to all websites except for just a few, enter the website addresses you want to block into the Block Websites section. LandSchool is not meant to replace your school's content filter. Instead, use this section to steer students away from a handful of specific websites when working on a certain assignment. For example, if you enter wikipedia.org here, students will be able to research a topic using any website they can find. However, when they come across wikipedia.org, they will be redirected to the LandSchool block page. You can save the lists of allowed websites and blocked websites so that you can quickly load different predefined lists for different group of students throughout the day. Just use the Save and Load buttons found on the Web Limiting Configuration page. To turn off Web Limiting and allow students unfettered access to the web once again, simply click the Limit Web button on the toolbar a second time to toggle this feature off. This concludes the tutorial on limiting the web on student computers. Find more tutorials like this and other methods of support by visiting our website at www.landschool.com.